Hey, man. What's that? Uh, something cool. You sure? Because I see Mighty Number no. 9, and the last I knew, that's not cool. It's cool to me. It I is? I guess we have to test it. Yeah. You mean we have to do something for science? Hmm. Maybe for science? Wait, you mean like the number four? Because, you know, we're four funsies with the number four, so it would make sense to go with the theme. You know, I guess that would make sense. All right, so let's try this on. Hi, welcome to... For science? (laughs) Gotta say it with the question mark. For science? Welcome to For Science. Yes, yes. I like that. We're going with that. I play the intro music. <laughs> mean, All right. Mean, mean, mean. <laughs> so, welcome to For Science. I am Dr. Johnny, accompanied with my uh, partner. Lab assistant. Uh, professor uh, Professor Mech. He's, I'm not a professor. I just have an engineering degree. I'm not a professor. I just crush a lot. Anyway. Yes. Professor, uh, what do you want to be? <laughs> I, I don't. Well, whatever. We're playing right. Mighty Number no. Nine. I'm a doc. I'm Doctor Johnny. We're playing Mighty Number no. Nine for science. So, uh, Mech, set us up with what for science is, and I'm gonna get us through some of these menus. Uh, we're gonna do a basically for sciences. We're gonna do a little review using the scientific method. So, as we all know, we start with the sci- to start with the scientific method. We form a hypothesis. Okay. So, based on what I heard about this game. Only on here, based only on hearsay. Mm-hmm. I believe that this game will be garbage. I'm gonna base my hypothesis on what I see, and I'm seeing Japanese style animation. It looks like Mega Man inspired, and a lot of colors. So I'm guessing this game is gonna be very child oriented and very lighthearted. Gotcha. All right. Time to experiment. Time to experiment. All right. So we've got menus that make noise on every menu selection. That's uh, childish. General options, credits, and accomplishments. Accomplishments? Achievements? I'm uh, p- pretty sure that's the same thing. Or, you know, trophies. Yeah, it's achievements. Cool. I don't want to see it. I don't want to scar myself. Um, data. So why not? Stick with three. Why not, man? Three is divisible into nine, right? Uh, ah, yes. Uh, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Confirmed. Right here. Oh, we got voice acting. It's the current. Kids. It's the current year. We got voice acting kids. Suddenly, everything turned red. <laughs> Yo, Sapia Tone. Can you give me my other controller. Yeah, this dude looks just like Mega Man. Like yeah. if he had a kid in Japan. Look at this guy, Afro guy. That guy is very Japanese. There's nothing in his hand. Doctor Doctor White. Doctor White. Can't not really. Yeah, definitely not related in any way to Mega Man. The antagonist better be Doctor Black. Uh, uh, Dr. Gray? Wasn't it Wily and Mega Man? Well, yeah, but I mean, this is Dr. White, so... So light and Wily, light and dark. Oh, look, tutorial mode. Okay, jump. Attack, I attack you. Can I, can I make a man charge? No? Okay. Well, you have to unlock that ability. <laughs> Don't you tell me how to unlock. <laughs> so, I mean, so far with the controls... It's the same. You know, I don't understand why they make games so hard. <laughs> How are you supposed to even jump up there? Come on. Yeah. You can't even jump. I don't even have a double jump. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Look at this guy. Just above me. See that? He gives me a real yeah. uh, handsome uh, Jack like a, vibe. Look, he looks like a me. I was going to say, that's Once not the again? voice I thought he would have. <laughs> How often is there station? Wow. He can talk. He can talk without actually moving his mouth. Right. Or we have crappy cameras that only take pictures and broadcast them. Blackwell. There you go. Dr. Blackwell. Light and Dr. Blackwell. Ugh. They did it. They did it. Ooh, look. It's my number one. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's my number zero. All right. So far, I'm not upset with this game. The controls are a little clunky, but I feel like it works. Yeah. Mind you, I've done nothing yet. This is true. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh. Huh. I now have this. So, you have to jump over things? Who, th- who thought that was a good idea? You have to jump in a video game? So wait, why is some of this 100% sometimes it's not? Because uh, it's how much you absorb, I guess. Okay, like that enemy is straight up from Mega Man there. 
That thing that shoots the bombs. From what I gather, when you absorb- it looks like when you absorb them, you absorb their attack power, too. I wonder if I have to catch them, like, soon as I- yeah, okay, I gotta catch them as soon as I, uh, whoa! Not okay. today! I guess today is I think is today. you have to go down there. <laughs> Wait, yep, Mega Man thing. style. There's always a thing. You go the wrong way, there's always a thing. Whoa! That guy's got a big face. Mm. It's so big, it takes- his shirt takes up his face. Mm -hmm. Nothing? No, no, no telegraphic upgrade from that? I thought it was a Mega Man. Not a it's a Mega Man, not a Mega Man X. Oh, okay. There's a difference. So they're pulling to the Kirby here, where you have to defeat all the enemies. That's cool. I just have to feed them and absorb them really quickly. Yeah. Or it, like, doesn't want to count. Hold Did that. Did you just done that thing? I don't know really what this does. This, that, that is a sniper, just, just straight up Sniper Joe. Sniper Joe? Yeah. The sniper enemy from, uh... From Mega Man. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Interesting. Like, the guys that jump with the shields? Whoa, dude, what? You can also accelerate. X. <sighs> you know, I don't dislike this game. I might buy the uh, crossover with Volt for Switch. <gasps> Did you hear Switch news? No. Um, not yet. Should I tell you? Please do. Smash is coming to Switch. Oh, I heard that. Everyone's heard that. And not me. I just heard it the other day, by accident. Oh, yeah, there was a Nintendo Direct. Oh, what else was coming out? We need to do a Nintendo uh, Direct episode, man. Sounds like the fastest possible route to the lab is this way. It's this way by design. It'd be cool if they worked that in, like, you can take multiple routes, kind of like Sonic. Or like Metroid. What makes them ready to go? Like, I don't understand. They start glowing when they're dying. Okay. Sensodyne? Like that? That. Do yeah, you ever like play a, a game with spikes? No, only since childbirth. Really? You don't. So, yeah. Have you played a Mega Man before? Yeah. You don't know that spikes mean instant death? Nope. Never touched them. Why would I? They'd kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought it was a good idea then? <laughs> it was a bad idea then. But you said this wasn't Mega Man. Yeah. Oh, you're a friend. Anyway, so yeah, I'm with you. I don't hate it so far. It's playable. Yeah. That's true. It's not broken yet. No. They clearly, like, were inspired by Mega Man. Like, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. As far as the art style goes, it's a little inconsistent, but I'm not really... Zell, yeah. 90,000. I don't really fully understand what absorbing is supposed to do yet. Me either. Does it prevent him from recovering? Yeah, it prevents him from recovering. Oh, that was death. I'm getting a real dot hack sign vibe from that move right there. Yeah. Did I just rip his heart out? Okay. Okay. So, I'm still not really understanding a whole lot about what I'm doing or why, but um, I'm doing it. And it's not terribly hard. I got yeah. a C, so I did average. Right. So I'm going to let you take this next level. Alright, then. Um, R1 to dash, square to shoot, X to jump. Okay. Like typical uh, yeah. fashion. Oh, look. Sonda. It's roll. That is a big dude. Yeah. yeah. You know those guys that are like so fat they don't have a neck? Yeah, they're just head and shoulders. Yep. It seems like you can't make up its mind whether they're in Japan or the United States. Though. Right. Maybe they're in uh, San Fran, Tokyo. San Fran, Tokyo? <laughs> you know what that's from? Big Hero 6? Oh. I haven't seen Big Hero 6 yet, so... Do you think it's an artistic choice that they chose not to animate their mouths? Yes, I think that they saved a lot just... of money with that. Okay, so it's an artistic choice to save money. Right. That's not a fro. That's like a rock dome kind of thing. That's like he has a, crystal, a geode <laughs> growing on his head. A geode? Apparently I can do these at any time, so I am going to pick Radio Tower. Wait, what does it explain? Oh, that's... Thank you for that, that information. That was really helpful to know. Okay, so this isn't too bad so far. 
Watch this is, and then someone's gonna be like, "Oh, you played the good level." Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is that it? Or is he recovering, or something? Was that it? Come on. Okay. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I tell you what. And I died. <laughs> and it's like Dark Souls where I just have to get all my all the things I gathered or something. No, oh. oh, that was close. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what? Oh my. All right. Collision's a little off. That game was that, that was on me. I, I could have been better, and I was not. Let's pick um, power plant. I like electricity. All right, minor complaint. The I wish the jumps were a little higher than they are. I know that's a I know that's a silly complaint, but no. Oh. That again, it's on me. Uh, I could have chose to live, and I didn't. That seems a bit unfair. Um, so I guess if there's anything to complain, it's certain aspects of the level design. See, Johnny said like the they were clunky. What? Again, I could just suck at this. So I'm not gonna. For science, it and I'm, my my hypothesis was that this game would suck, and um, it doesn't suck yet. But that's probably because I'm garbage at it, and I can't get to the part where I would actually hit the game. <sighs> I could have moved out of the way. I didn't. Mm. All right, all right. I'm still tracking this up to me just being bad at the game. Um. I guess I have some problems with the issues of the level design. The problem is, um, if it, 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 it kind of, some of the enemies feel cheap. I oh, am? Yeah? Kind of like that. <laughs> but then again, maybe they assumed I was going to go straight and... Oh, her name is Call? Apparently. Like, Roll Call? Be it's Beck and Call. Oh. Get it? That's the, that's the theme, apparently. Oh, Beck and Call. Is she a mighty number as well? I don't know. That doesn't explain anything. No. So apparently the right thing to do is just dodge through all that. Oh yeah? Just dodge through all your enemies? No! Yee! Don't you know that when pits and games exist, they kill you? You ever, you know, man, you ever played a game with a pit? <laughs> you know, man, I don't need your sass. Come on, man. Kid Icarus, man. It was a joke. I know. <laughs> I repeat. I don't need your sass. <laughs> No! Oh! oh! That's pretty cheap. And yet, you kind of knew it was coming. Still yes. Cheap, though. Did you learn anything about, uh, I have a lot of questions. Did you learn anything about when to, when to absorb these guys? You just absorb it when, when they're glowing. Okay. So the colors don't mean anything? The colors do things, oh, I guess. Exciting. The point of the percentages is a score. It's a score counter. Okay. Those look like they blow up. Yep. What was your first clue? Ooh, he's gonna be a mech. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not fair. All right, so let's yeah, for real. see that, that was pretty well uh, yeah, telegraphed. They got me. See, the problem I have with this, the, the thing about older Mega Man games is they had a good way of like prepping you, like training you for when new stuff is gonna happen, right? Okay. And they do that in this game, which is good. But then they throw, they show you how to do it. In a fair setting, then they throw it to throw it at you in an unfair setting. <laughs> so the game should be fair. Yeah. Well, they're like, like, so here's how this mechanic works. All right, now we're gonna put you in a situation where the mechanic works nothing like oh, that. Oh, that was cool. I just, I've never understood with like Mega Man and Samus, old school Samus. If you have an arm cannon, why can't you aim? You can aim. Where? How come I can't aim? I mean. 
In New York? Oh, in old school. You heard what I said. Oh, it's old school Metroid? Yep. I don't know, maybe because of, like, technology limits or something? Like, I'm picking stuff up, and I literally have no idea what it does. Has it been any Well, so far, what I gather is green makes you go faster. So it's our Sonic juice. Yeah. Gotta go fast, huh? Because Sonic is the only game that exists. By the way, those don't respond. What? I found that out the hard way. Those things that fall don't respond. <laughs> okay. No? No? Okay. Oh, something else I found out you could do? You can, like, dash uh, ground pound kind of thing. Okay. So if you, like, you jump and then you dash while pressing down. This? I don't see what practical sense it has, but... I can ground you. Apparently the game... Okay, so this is something I just Whoa. realized. Did you see that? What? No. Bruh. Oh. Yeah, something I just realized. It's like, uh, I guess if you're struggling, you wasted a whole lot of, uh, your power-ups there. I don't even know how to use my power-ups, dude. They are automatic. You see those red okay. things? Okay, so here's what I figured out. The things that you collect when you run through things... Mm-hmm. They're, when when you, they're upgrades, but they only in their automatic, but they only stay temporarily. Gotcha. Different upgrades do different things, and they can stack up, but they're they're still an automatic thing, and they run out over time. Okay. You're saying it felt clunky, and I think I get what you're saying, but um, I think it comes to this. It, it, it feels sluggish, right? Do you, does it feel sluggish to you at all? Yeah, uh, it feels sluggish. Like, it's got a bit of stop and go to it. Yeah. That's not really necessary. Like, I'm sure it could be fluid. Yeah. But it just doesn't feel like it is. Yeah, see, the thing is, maybe it's because I've played, like, Mega Man X and Mega Man 7. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people forget that, uh, the, to, to me, those games are too sluggish. They're too slow. But everyone loves X. Mm -hmm. Okay, P Mega Man fans love X. Okay. Right? And until you get the dash boots, or the, not the dash boots, but wh whatever you get that lets you dash, right? The leg upgrades. Mm -hmm. Until you get those, you're just a sluggish. Okay. So it's, yeah. So I think as far as, like, level design goes, I would say it's, for the most part, tough but fair. There are exceptions, but... They say tough but fair. You didn't say tough but fair. Yeah. It's... I really... You know what? I take that back. It's tough, but fair sometimes. But then most of the time, it's not. <laughs> uh, okay. Most of the times, it's stuff like this. Yeah. Yikes! Oh, I got you. Nope, not today. Maybe today. Not today! <laughs> Give me that. You know, what would be cool Why if it was Chill Penguin. Why you Is he not like burn? Is like the Hulk or something though? Or am I gonna fight this guy and he gets his like mind back? Uh, that's probably how it's gonna work. Burn. You don't want it, bro. Pyrogen. The other guy was stronger than him. Mighty number one. Wow. What are the odds? You can catch this right here. Well, that was pretty obviously. Yeah. Come and get it. Come and get it. What? Don't do that. It's so cliche, boss. Oh, now you have sentences? Okay. Now he has sentences? Yeah. He was speaking in like the Hulk term. He was he was then too. It's just like you, you couldn't tell because that those sentences had no punctuation in them. Oh, like zero punctuation? No, just no punctuation. Oh, okay. Can't skip. Totally can. Eat it. Hold that. Oh, nice. Oh, interesting. Nice move, jerk. So okay. So far, I'll give it this. The boss designs are interesting. Yeah. I mean, not the designs, but, like, the the boss battles are... 
how they're structured. That hits me every time. Yeah. So, gotcha. So he's got like um, he's got like monster hunter style health where like he has a he can regain a certain amount of health. Like you see that red mark? That's how much health he can grab right, back. Right. If I don't uh, absorb it from him, right? Yeah. You nice play, dude. Oh, oh wait, okay. second stage? Cool. That's cool. So I get that checkpoint, all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the checkpoint. I don't know. This this boss, uh, you know, like the boss design or the boss level design is cool so far. I think. I like it. It's definitely it's definitely a challenge. You have to learn the fight. Like, I'm trying to muscle my way through it. This isn't that kind of fight. Alright, so when he's running, he can shield. Yeah, but he also may jump. Like that. Yeah. I guess the trick is just to get past him. Oh, he just does it when I cross him. Okay. Maybe I just need to run from him. I think what you need to do is get like get him to run towards you, or like when he jumps, that you just have to dodge, dodge under him. Yep. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's completely fair. That's that's totally. Totally acceptable. All right. Um, yeah, man. I'm beat this guy for science. I'm gonna give you a crack at him if you want. Maybe you can yeah. recognize patterns. You're the zoologist, man. Tell me what I gotta do. All right. So far, what I've noticed is you might want to stay towards the center, okay. so that when he jumps for that, you can dodge right under him. Might want to, or do you recommend that? I I haven't seen all of his techniques yet, but okay. that's what I think is most likely right. his technique, his uh, forte. I'll take that wall over that move, though. The wall hurts less. That hurts less, too. That's a trap. Oh, I know what I gotta do. It's fine play. Any, any recommendation for this part? I don't. I think it's just the same stuff. It's all right. Give it a shot because it's totally not. But all right, you might have a better insight than I do. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. I don't like that. It makes you go through like that little cutscene there. Just, yeah. No, yeah, not that cutscene. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see your point. Like it, it doesn't telegraph that well. All right. Okay, I figured it out. He crouches for the... Yes, I thought I figured it out. <sighs> he said something different that time. He did say something different. Well, well, that's for science, man. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. What are your opinions of? Huh? My opinion? Why did you put your hand under my butt? I totally didn't. You did that. You put your butt on top of my hand. You know that's the truth. 
So what's your assessment? <laughs> um, he's hard, man. That's I, I'm not talking about your assessment. I'm talking about the game. I don't I don't see what the big deal was, man. I get why people probably I can see like why people I, I could see why people would think it's mediocre. I don't I don't have a problem with it. I'm having I'm having fun with it. All right, know? tell you what. Do a second. We'll, do one, we'll have you do another level because I've done a whole bunch of these. I've tried out a couple of these. Okay, which ones um, have you beaten? I haven't beaten any of them because <laughs> I lost every time. So I thought I'd try something different every time. All right, let's get that dude with the cigarette. Yeah. This no, guy? on the right. That guy? On the right. Yeah, with the pipe. Just say all the way. Peace pipe. Okay, tell you what. We'll swap off every death on this one. All right, cool. For science. For science. So, what that's, part that's, of the scientific yeah. method are we on? This is still experimentation, Ooh, man. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Upper class. Wait, is there a crap this way? So this dude has managed to line up every building in this, every room in this building to move with fire shots and snipe you from anywhere. Oh, never mind. Now he's hitting from third dimension. That's cute. He got far, man. Seems like that that single shot does a lot more damage than you think it would. Oh, the sniper shot? Yeah. Got you. Not no, wow, not this. Wow, they put you way back here, man. Did you even try to hit me with that one. Why are you going right? To trace trace the fire the line of fire. Okay. You kept going right, so I forgot I'd go right. Yeah, because the because the laser fire was coming from the other from coming from the no, right. It was coming from behind you. You'll see in the recording. All right. See, like the concept is cool. It's just I don't think it's executed properly. How would you execute differently? Um, I would say put like some sort of detector on it, on him. Maybe give him like a. Because realistically, if someone if there's someone sniping people, he's not gonna. He's gonna kind of move around. He's not gonna just stay in one room the whole time right. while you approach him. He's gonna back. He's gonna move. Get anything through? No, you don't. I, I don't. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, the, that's instant death? Yeah, I said pink is death, bro. Opposite of real life, where pink gives birth. Alright. Alright, man. New assessment. Um, Hard game is hard? Hard, hard game is hard. Uh, it's not terrible. No, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10, yeah. 6. I don't think I'd play it again. But I'd, I'd play it with like cheat codes or a guide or something. Yeah. Because this guy want the power ups, but I don't think I'd spend money on this. Yeah. Good That's thing it was free. Good thing it was free. Yeah. Here, um, let's show, show me quick other quick games. Are the free games? Ten forty seven. Uh, well, I'll, pull, I'll flash on the screen. All right. Cool. Um, these games are free. Go play them. There. Nice. Okay. Well, guys. Um. Thanks. Closing thoughts. Okay. Back? Yeah. So conclusion. I, th I think, we'll, like we said, um, I thought this game was going to be complete garbage based on what everyone said. I don't hate it. Um, maybe if I played it a lot more, I would have a more... What would you like most about your experience with it so far? Um, the boss. The boss. The okay. bosses seem pretty cool. Um, what would you like the least? Not disliked. What did you like the least? What did I like the least? Mm -hmm. The power-ups. Because... They definitely help you, but there's no real explanation for how they help you, <laughs> so it's... A lot of guesswork. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Alright. So, uh, my hypothesis was that this would be like a very childish game due to the colors and animation. Yeah. Um, upon playing it, uh, the level design is definitely geared towards the poppy fun type of thing. But uh, not a child's game. I feel like you have to be at least 8, 9, or 10 to play this game. Dude, this is science. We don't talk about feelings. We talk about facts. Yeah, my feelings are facts. I'm a female. Oh, that's how it works. That's how it works. But I'm not a female. She is. Um, so, yeah, man. I think, I, I uh, based on the data, that uh, this game is geared towards people slightly over above child age. So, like, 9, 10? Um, well, you mean, like, for everyone? Like, E. For everyone, yeah. Yeah. Is I that mean, what this was? Pretty sure. I don't know who goes. I don't know. Did, what did you think it was? Rated uh, T for teen. It's got violence. It might shoot up a school. <laughs> <laughs> um, my assessment of the game is... Uh, 
as far as the actual quality goes, it's okay. Yeah. That's all I can say about it, is it's, it's okay. okay. What, it's is, not, what does okay mean? Like, like it's... Uh, it's good for free. Okay. Um, for what... It, it's kind of like... Why, uh, for example, Slender, I would classify as okay. Because it's good for what it is, and it's free. Okay. This, we happen to get for free... But if I had to pay money for it, especially if I like kickstarted it and I got this, then yeah, I'd be pissed. Yeah. So as someone who didn't back this, as someone who has had minimal interest in it mm-hmm. when it came out, um, I would say that it um it fe- tries to bring back the Mega Man feel for the most part. I don't think it entirely succeeded. Yeah. But it's pretty close. I mean, it's made by the same people, so I'm mm-hmm. not going to, like, knock it for, uh, let's say, like, oh, these people don't know how to design a game. So like, they, they, they designed it the way they wanted to. They get married just because they created Mega Man? That's pretty much okay. how it goes. All right, so that's my conclusion. Okay, so based on what we've, based on our experiment, that's the conclusion I come to is it's okay. It's okay. It's and not overall- awful. An not overwhelming the, okay. Not the best game ever, but but still playable. Okay. So not unplayable. Not unplayable. There we go. And your conclusion is? My conclusion is that it's a solid game with some tough platformer elements. Um, the art design is definitely a bold choice to use so much color and keep it like a 2.5D. Um, however, it is a 2D platformer that looks like 2.5D. That's also an interesting design choice. Um, dashing into my enemies seems kind of silly at first, but it makes sense the more you do it. Yeah, that's something I would I would change, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is the part where we revise our uh, hypothesis. I feel like you can. Go yes. for it. If they changed, as far as the things that I wish they would change, um, I don't like the dash mechanic. Mm-hmm. Something I, I actually don't like. And I wish, because it makes you, it encourages you, because the way the game is set up, it encourages you to do that, but then it will immediately throw you into a situation that will punish you for doing it. Okay, so it sounds like your problems with the the game setup, not with the actual dash mechanic. I guess so. Yeah. Here you go. Why, thank you. No problem. No, we're done here. Um, Who who we're sponsored by today? We were sponsored by... um, and don't say Camel Brick. I'm done with them. Well, I can't say. Well, I know I can't say Clorox because they sponsored our last video. <laughs> um, sponsored by. Um, I, I want to say America's Finest something. I don't know what to what okay. something that sounds like that. We are sponsored by. There's a way in there. I I get that. Yeah. All right. We're, today our video was sponsored by um, the letter Q. Um, was sponsored and also uh, Air, um, Aaron's uh, suppositories. Ooh. Get all your butt clenching needs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from Aaron. From Aaron. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching this experiment oh, yeah, with us guys thanks for joining us this was for funsies to play a blind game for fun and call it for science because that's totally the same thing totally not at all yeah this was for science this was for science this is our conclusion conclusion so we did the project we did the problem the hypothesis we did some testing and then what flavors another step before our conclusion there's a whole bunch of other steps but for, look we're gonna say a uh, conclusion is what we can <laughs> do all right i'm with it that sounds good but any closing thoughts for everybody? I gave my closing thoughts. Do you have anything else you want to say? No. Aw, oh, dude. Tell me your we gave We gave our closing thoughts like three times. So why are we still talking? Exactly. Bye.